Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge has received quite a significant update. And this is not a version upgrade, and it's not the security fixes that have been rolling out to the other Chromium-based web browsers. This is a maintenance fix, and it also includes um, fixes for an issue that's been plaguing a lot of users using the browser, and then we get one new feature that officially wasn't announced in the release notes. Now, first of all, to check if you have this latest update, as always, we head to our main menu, Help and Feedback, About Microsoft Edge. And latest version and build after this update has been applied is 121.0.2277.128. Now, first of all, before we have a look at what's new, just on a side note, Edge version 122 is going to be rolling out next week, which will be the major version upgrade. And we can expect that to start rolling out from the 22nd of February 2024, which will be next week, Thursday heading into the weekend. So if you are expecting a new version, that's when we get in it next week. Now getting back to this update. Now first of all, Microsoft says they have fixed various bugs and performance issues. And they do roll out these maintenance updates on a regular basis uh, between uh, version upgrades. Now the important fix that's rolled out here, as I have posted previously, is Edge has a feature that basically is called import browsing data and it's a feature that provides an option to import browsing data on each launch from other browsers um, with user consent and here we go if we just head over to edit preferences you can turn this feature on and you can turn this feature off now for a lot of users this feature was turning itself on as i have been posting uh, by default and as I've been posting, it seems that Edge is stealing data from Chrome and is automatically importing browsing data from Google Chrome. And obviously this caused a lot of um, debate and contention because obviously for some reason this was turning itself on. And um, that bug now, according to Microsoft, seems to be have been fixed with this update where they say this feature state might not have been syncing and displaying correctly across multiple devices. This is fixed. So that privacy issue, we hope now, according to Microsoft, has been fixed where um, Edge was importing browsing data from other browsers, especially Google Chrome, without user consent. And this was causing a lot of headache for a lot of users. So that issue seems to be addressed now with this latest update. Now, even above that, um, we just get two additional policy changes which won't be of much use and interest to your average home user so those are the fixes so some important fixes rolling out there especially obviously the issue with um, importing browsing data without your user consent now just to focus on the new uh, the next new feature and i actually posted on this yesterday and it seems now with this update the feature is rolling out where i said microsoft could be changing how you open the sidebar in edge and Currently, to open the sidebar, you can hover over your um, Copilot uh, button. And you can also notice now that that show sidebar button, the sidebar button here to the bottom of the sidebar, has been removed. And this is part of the update where that feature now has rolled out with this point release update. And if just to, ex to explain a little bit more in depth, if we just head to our settings once again, Let's just head back here. If we head to our settings sidebar page, we click on Copilot. You will see now that because that sidebar button has been removed from the bottom of the sidebar, if I toggle off Show Copilot and we restart the browser, you will see now that with the Show Copilot button turned off, so it removes the Copilot button. We now have the sidebar button where the Copilot button used to be in the right hand side uh, at the top in the toolbar. So now you can show and hide your sidebar without having that big blue Copilot button yet to the top right. And I know that was also um, not a favorite for a lot of users with this big Copilot button. It didn't really go in with the rest of the theme. And the sidebar button fits in a little bit better with the look and feel of the rest of the toolbar icon. So if you don't want Copilot there, you can just um, toggle that off as mentioned, restart your browser, and there we go. You can show and hide your um, your actual sidebar. And if you want to put everything back, you just go back, you 
toggle on Show Copilot, restart your browser, and there we go. Everything's back to normal, and we have our Copilot button, and then you can just toggle that on, and there we go. It shows your sidebar. So just take notice, though, that obviously you have to hover over the Copilot button now to actually show your sidebar, but I think for a lot of users, this will be a nice move, as I would always say, and a step in the right direction. So there you have it. Quite an important update rolling out for Edge. This is not the security update, but it does bump that version up to 121.0.2.7.128. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.